Hi, welcome to this week's story hour. It's so great to see you guys. I hope you're doing really well. Today's story hour is brought to you by our special guest, the Seven Dwarf Puppets. And they are here to help me help you to sing our ZYXs. Do you know your ZYXs? Let's give it a try, shall we? Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B A. Now I know my Z Y X's. I'll see you one day in Texas. How'd you do? Did you do okay? I love the ZY axis because if you're safe at home, you may actually be doing Boggle or Scrabble or learning a new instrument, and you might want to know your alphabet backwards and forwards. Okay, 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 let's tell the story. All right, you guys may know the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, but we'll keep it really fresh. Once upon a time, there was a lovely young lady named Snow White. She was super cool and everybody loved her, except for her evil stepmother, who didn't like anybody except for herself. In fact, she liked herself so much that she used to go to her, her mirror and she would say, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest one of all? And the mirror would say, You are my queen. And then she'd be happy for about five minutes. Well, one day she went in and she said, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest one of all? And the mirror said, Well, actually, at this point, it's Snow White. Curses! I must have Snow White killed. And so she called a huntsman and she said, Go kill Snow White. And so he brought Snow White into the woods and he started to get to know her, and he was like, wow, Snow White is awesome. Snow White, I don't want to kill you, but your wicked stepmother wants you dead. Run away. And so off she went, and he went back to the queen, and he said, Snow White is dead. And she said, excellent. And she went straight to her mirror, and she said, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest one of all? And the mirror answered, I told you it's Snow White. Curses! If I want her dead, I will have to do this myself. Meanwhile, Snow White was running through the woods, and she came to this cute house, but it was kind of a mess. There were dirty clothes and dishes all over the place. And she thought, look, maybe if I clean and I cook, I can ask them if they would shelter me until I know what to do. So she went in, and she cleaned, and she cooked, and she noticed everything was really small, and everything was in seven. Seven plates, seven forks, seven beds. And then she was like, I am so tired from this traumatic day, and she fell right to sleep. Meanwhile, here came the seven dwarves home. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's home from work we go. I think you know them. Let's see what they said. Hey, looks like somebody broke into our house. Grumpy. Oh, I don't think that's logical. Doc. I'm sleepy. Sleepy. I choo! Sneezy. What's going on? Dopey. Oh, I'm so happy to have some company. I'll be awesome. Happy. Ooh, people. Bashful. Snow White woke up and she saw the seven dwarves and she said, Hey, look, can I please stay here? My wicked stepmother wants me killed and I can read and I can do math and I can write. And they said, Soul, you can stay. And they really liked her just like everybody else. The next day when they went to work, they said, Snow White, you've got to be careful of the wicked queen, okay? Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. Meanwhile, the wicked queen she dressed up like a little old lady, and she came to the house selling apples. And she said, Ah, oh, won't you buy one of my little apples? They're really delicious. And Snow White said, Yes, of course I'll buy one of your apples, old lady. And she did buy one. She took a bite, and she collapsed on the floor. 
said the wicked queen, and she ran back to her castle. Meanwhile, the seven dwarves had a sixth sense that something was wrong. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's home from work we go. And they got there and they said, Snow White is dead! But Doc said, hey, wait a second. I am a doctor. Let me take her pulse. And he took her pulse and he said, Snow White is alive, but I think she has been poisoned. Luckily, my friend Stan, who I went to medical school with, is coming over for lunch and he'll do a second opinion. And then along came Stan and he looked at Snow White. He did the Heimlich maneuver and pushed here and out popped a piece of apple. That's why she had collapsed. And he took one look at Snow White and she took one look at him. And it was the start of a long and beautiful love story. Yay! Meanwhile, the wicked queen went back to the castle and she said, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest one of all? What do you think? The mirror said. What would you say? The end. And that's the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. This week's craft is making your own Seven Dwarves. My friend Rebecca made these for me out of felt and googly eyes, and you can too. But even if you don't have felt, you can see what you're feeling by making pieces of paper puppets, or maybe with sock puppets. Maybe you've been feeling super bored. What would that look like? What would it look like to be super happy or glum or feeling like hopeless or maybe feeling really excited and you can make your own faces? Anyway, for those of you who are celebrating any special holidays, religious holidays this week, the Edwards Public Library wishes you and your family a wonderful holiday season. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you're keeping yourself really well and healthy, washing those hands, using online resources from the library to do your work. If you have any questions, please email us. We miss you, and I hope to see you guys again next week. The end. Bye.